is how to enter a confidence interval for a proportion, or perhaps you just call it a portion or a percentage, on the TI-84, which is similar to the TI-83. I'm gonna be solving a problem that I took from my video titled 7.3 Part 2 on Proportions, and this particular problem is found at timestamp 3 minutes and 45 seconds. Proportion confidence intervals have a lower bound and an upper bound value to predict the population proportion, where essentially you're taking the same problem once with subtraction and once with addition. Although this calculator may have built-in functionality to give you these two values, I like to show people how to do this by hand. So we'll be starting off with the beginning of the problem where I'm gonna just type in 0.4, even though I have 0 0.04 written on the piece of paper. Next, we will subtract, I'm trying to get this to stand still. Ah. And then we have 2.33. Because it's in front of the square root, it is being multiplied with the square root. I always feel better hitting the multiplication symbol. Perhaps just the square root symbol would be enough to indicate a product. The square root symbol on this calculator is in light blue above the X squared button. So I first need to hit the blue second button to get the blue function from X squared to actually get a square root. Now because this blinking cursor is inside of the square root and it's not with a parenthesis, you could type this interior portion exactly as you see it with multiple parentheses because everything would stay within the square root, which is not true of other calculators. But you know what? We don't actually need the parentheses as you see them on the piece of paper. Those parentheses are just for clarity regarding multiplication of decimals. But on a calculator, I can just type in 0.4 times 0.6 divided by 200. I can tell that everything is inside my square root, so I just need to hit the Enter button next to get my lower bound value of 0.319, etc. To get the upper bound value, I don't need to type the whole thing in again where I change the subtraction operator to a plus operator. Instead, what I can do on this calculator is hit up arrow once and twice, and now I've highlighted the line I want to edit, but I do need to hit enter to make that a live equation where I can go back to the subtraction sign, and when that is highlighted, I can hit the plus button on the calculator and enter again to get my upper bound value of 0.480, et cetera.